Okay, Pat, I'm out of the airlock, and I have my anchor points and my safety tether attached to the forward UAE, or the forward uh, airlock safety tether, the hook. Great, if you can uh, double check that uh, both bales are closed and sliders locked and the reel is unlocked. Good reminder, I've got the uh, bales are closed and sliders locked, and we are in unlock. Okay, you can release your waist tether from the airlock D-ring. Okay, so that one. That is complete. Okay, Danny, I want you to reposition the uh, handrail wire tie. Work. Okay, and Nicole, your first thing will be to transfer your anchor hook uh, out to uh, Danny. Okay, that's handed off. Prioritize right, repositioned. The anchor hook is attached to the aft anchor point, and I can certify bales closed, slider is locked. Okay, those are good words. Nicole, you can go ahead and uh, release your waist tether. Okay, I'll do that. All right, white waist tether is released. Okay, Nicole, the first thing you're going to do is transfer the ATA crew lock bag out to Danny, and the large small ret will stay in the crew lock. You'll actually attach that to the airlock D ring extender. Okay, happy. All right, I see that, Nicole? Yeah, All right. I'll throw a tether on it. And Station Houston on Space to Ground 1, EV-1, you can expect a battery fault in about five minutes, no action. Battery fault decay. Got a good hook on it. Okay, Nicole. Release that. Or do you want me to do that? Sure, and you can just send it back in. Okay, I'll do that then. The Canadarm2 has been moved over in the vicinity of the Port 1 truss of the International Space Station into what is called the pre-grapple position, referring to the uh, position uh, that uh, is required for a handoff of the spent ammonia tank assembly once it is removed from the Port 1 truss so that it uh, can grapple on to the uh, ammonia tank assembly where that uh, spent tank will be spending the next couple of days in a temporary parked or stowed position. Nicole Stott uh, wearing the suit with the horizontal broken stripes about to leave the Quest airlock, having handed off the crew lock bag to Olivas. And Danny, once you're in a good position, you can go ahead and give me your safer checks. Roger that. And Station Houston on the big loop, EV-1, you can expect a battery fault decay message in about two minutes. No action. Okay, two minutes. Thank you very much for the words. Okay, I am clear, Nicole. Okay, coming out. And Pat, I can verify I've got two handles down. And you'll see as you come out, that's a wire tie on the handrail. Kind of want to avoid that. Okay. Yep. And Nicole Stott moves out of the Quest airlock to begin her first spacewalk. And good gloves, Pat. Very nice you guys. Okay, hey, Nicole, welcome to the world of EVA. Uh, the you. first thing I'll need from you is a safe for checks. Pat Forrester welcoming Nicole Stott to the world of spacewalking. Pat on the right. And the left. As you follow along, 
on these helmet camera views that we'll be seeing throughout the course of the night. Helmet camera number 18, you see that uh, serial number on the lower right-hand side of your screen. That is Daniel Levis's helmet camera. Nicole Stott's helmet camera is serial number 16. Wasting no time, Danny Olivas now translating over to the Port One Trust of the International Space Station. He will be joined momentarily by Nicole Stott. At that point, uh, he will stow his crew lock bag on a handrail on the truss. Okay, Pat, I'm at 3519, and I'm setting up another four minutes for relief. Okay, Danny, and then after that, be sure to translate Zenith over the ATA. Zenith over the ATA, copy that. Nicole, when you're ready, you can translate to the P1 ADA via the NATO route. Okay, and I'm on the nitrogen tank now, moving along. And your fair lead will be a regular fair lead on 3543. Okay, you're going to stow the crew lock bag on P1 handrail 3619. And I have I've attached the integrated adjustable to the integrated tether from the uh, uh, crew lock bag to the handrail 36. 